students in aim 1 of the polynomials we discuss the basic points of the polynomials in the aim 2 we discuss reminder theorem we discuss about reminder theorem so what is the purpose of knowing reminder theorem first we discuss without finding actual division can we find the reminder yes we can find the reminder without actual division in the by using reminder theorem so what is the reminder theorem f of x is a polynomial in x of degree greater than or equal to 1 f of x is a polynomial in x of degree greater than or equal to 1 a is any real number If f of x is a polynomial in x of degree greater than or equal to 1, a is any real number. If f of x is divided by x minus a, then the remainder is f of a. This is the statement of the remainder theorem. Once again, I will say the statement. f of x is a polynomial in x of degree greater than or equal to 1. a is any real number. If f of x is divided by x minus a, then the remainder is f of a. How to prove this one? First, let us suppose that when f of x is divided by when f of x is divided by x minus a, the quotients the quotient and remainder I take it as q of x and r of x. Let us suppose that when f of x is divided by x minus a, take the quotient as q of x, the remainder is r of x. We all know the division algorithm. We all know the division algorithm. What is the division algorithm? The division algorithm is dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus reminder. Generally, uh, let us see some examples that we have done in the earlier classes. 13 is there. You are dividing with 4. When you divide 13 with 4, what do you write? 4, 3 is a 4, 3 is a 12. Remainder is 1. How do you write that? 13 equal to 4 into 3 plus 1 will write. So, 13 is dividend, 4 is the divisor, 3 is the quotient, 1 is the remainder. In the same way, this polynomial also we write. What is the dividend here? f of x. What is the divisor? x minus a. We are taking the quotient as q of x and remainder as r of x. So, dividend is q f of x, divisor is x minus a, quotient is q of x, remainder is r of x. Now, in the same example, see if you see that the remainder is less than the divisor, but here we can't say that uh, which is greater, which is lesser. 
so we can that's the reason we take the decrease what is the degree of the divisor degree of the divisor is 1 as the degree of the divisor is 1 the degree of the remainder must be less than that so degree of r of x must be less than degree of x minus a that means what is the degree of x minus a 1 so what is the degree of r of x it should be 0 because if the degree is 1 the degree is 0 or else sometimes we get constant what is the degree of the constant of 0 so here yeah, the degree of r of x is 0 that means we need to take constant that I am writing as f of x is equal to x minus a into q of x plus r because the degree of the r of x must be less than degree of x minus a it is 1 so it should be 0 that is the reason I have taken constant. <coughs> now if I substitute x equal to a then what happens? If I substitute x equal to a f of a equal to here a minus a into q of a plus r we will get f of a equal to a minus a in place of x I am substituting a f of a equal to a minus a into q of a plus r a minus a is 0 so this total term becomes 0 that implies f of a equal to r that is remainder is f of a so in the statement we said that f of x is a polynomial in x of degree greater than r equal to 1 a is any real number then if f of x is divided by x minus a then the remainder is f of a this is the proof of remainder theorem now we will see examples and applications of this remainder theorem first we see one example on this one find the remainder find the remainder well x cube minus 3x square plus 7x minus 4 is divided by x minus 1 <coughs> find the remainder when this polynomial is divided by x minus 1. First we will take the given polynomial as f of x. First we take given polynomial as f of x. f of x equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 7x minus 4. Now first uh, already we discussed in the aim 1 what is the 0 of the polynomial first we have to make it 0 then we will find the x value that x value must be substituted in this one x minus 1 equal to 0 that means x equal to 1 now this one I have to substitute in this one because when it is divided by x minus a remainder is what f of a means in place of x we are substituting a here in place of x we are substituting 1 because it is divided by x minus 1 so what is f of 1 f of 1 a means in place of x I am substituting 1 1 cube minus 3 into 1 square plus 7 into 1 minus 4 in place of x 1 1 cube minus 3 into 1 square plus 7 into 1 minus 4 1 minus 3 1 square means 1 only plus 7 minus 4 1 plus 7 8 minus 3 minus 4 minus 7 so answer we get as 1 1 cube is 1 1 square is 1 1 into minus 3 minus 3 plus 7 1 is 7 minus 4 
1 plus 7 8 minus 3 minus 4 minus 7 8 minus 7 is 1. So, what is the remainder? Here the remainder is 1 when the polynomial is divided by x minus a. Here we are not at all doing the actual division. Without actual division directly we are able to find the remainder. We will see one more example. We will see same example with x plus 1 means find the remainder when this polynomial is divided by x plus 1. First what I said, first we have to take the given expression, we have to take the given expression as f of x. First we have taken the given expression as f of x, then we need to find the 0 of this polynomial x plus 1, we have to make it 0, then we write the value of x minus 1. Now, in place of x, what you have to substitute? Minus 1. f of minus 1 equal to minus 1 whole cube minus 3 into minus 1 whole square plus 7 into minus 1 minus 4. In place of x, I am substituting minus 1, minus 1 whole cube minus 3 into minus 1 whole square plus 7 into minus 1 minus 4, minus 1 whole cube minus 1 minus 3 into minus 1 whole square as the power is even minus becomes plus 3 into 1 minus 7 minus 4, minus 1 minus 3 minus 7 minus 4, 4 8 15. So, answer is minus 15, remainder is minus 15. Just in place of x have substituted minus 1 in this expression, we will get the answer. We will see one more example. Find the value of k, find the value of k. If k x cube plus 9 x square plus 4 x minus 10 is divided by x plus 3. leaves a reminder minus 22. Now, he has given the polynomial, but in the polynomial one unknowing term he has given k, when it is divided by x plus 3, he has given the remainder is minus 22. Now, how to find the value of k? First, I already said that, first whatever the polynomial he has given, let it be f of x f of x plus equal to k x cube plus 9 x square plus 4 x minus 10. Already I said that the whatever the given polynomial is there, we have to equate to 0. x plus 3 equal to 0, that implies x equal to minus 3. Now, in place of x, we have to substitute minus 3. f of minus 3 equal to k into minus 3 whole cube plus 9 into minus 3 whole square plus 4 into minus 3 minus 10. Just in place of x, I am substituting minus 3. f of minus 3 equal to k into minus 3 whole cube plus 9 into minus 3 whole square plus 4 into minus 3 minus 10. But f of minus 3 is what remainder. He has given the remainder as minus 22. So, in place of f of minus 3, what you have to write? Minus 22. minus 22 equal to minus 3 whole cube as it is r you will get minus only minus 27 k here power is even you will get positive 9 3 square 9 9 9 is 81 4 into minus 3 minus 12 minus 10 here it is odd power is odd so we get minus 3 cube is 27 27 k 
minus 3 whole square power is even it becomes even so it becomes positive 3 square is 9 9 nines are 81 minus into plus minus 4 3 is 12 minus 10 that implies minus 22 equal to minus 27 k plus 81 minus 22 minus 12 minus 10 minus 22 this minus 22 this minus 22 gets cancelled so here nothing is there 0 equal to minus 27 k plus 81 that implies minus 27 k equal to minus 81 minus minus gets cancelled k equal to 81 by 27 that is equal to 3 so he asked to find the value of k he has given the device as well as the reminder. So, what are the polynomial has given? We have taken as x and we made this polynomial equal to 0. We got the x value, we substituted in place of f of 3, f of minus 3 that is a reminder. We have substituted minus 22, we got the value of k. Like this, they may give, they may give any other variable l, m, and r like that. So, we need to find the values by using reminder theorem without doing the actual division we can find the reminders easily.